Now, my mother, like most housewives of the 50s and 60s, swore by the recipes in the Australian Woman's Weekly. Not the New Zealand one, they weren't as good, according to my mother, they weren't. Anyway, this is one of the classics, and this is a surprise passion fruit. I was going to say pineapple. Why would I say pineapple? A surprise passion fruit pudding. It's pretty simple stuff, but it's just real tasty. And the surprise, I'll show you the surprise at the end. But first of all, 160 grams of sugar and 60 grams of soft butter. Unsalted, please. I suppose my mother would have used salted, to be quite honest, but we don't these days, do we? And we're just going to beat it up in our mixer until it's light and fluffy. So don't beat it too fast. No, she really did swear by the Woman's Weekly recipes and, and they always worked. I think that was the thing. It, it was the days when they checked them really, really carefully. And then we're going to add a couple of eggs one at a time, or egg yolks one at a time. I buy my eggs at the South Melbourne Market, the egg shop there. And they, they're having a run of double yolkers at the moment. So I don't know whether you change the recipe for this because it's got a double yolker in it. So one at a time, just until it's mixed in. Look at the colour of us, it's beautiful eggs, they really are. All right, that's looking good, so we now just turn that off. So 50 grams of plain flour, which I just sift, and then we mix that in. And to that we then add two passion fruit, two or three depending on the size. As you can see, Ruth went to the market and bought me a couple of passion fruit and they're about the size of a, of a pineapple. And to that we add enough plain milk to make that up to one. So we've got the two passion fruit pulped in there and we add enough milk to make it one. And we throw that in and just a bit of lemon zest. And we'll also put the lemon itself in too. So what's that? Well, what I've got over here is I've got the two egg whites. So this is just the two egg whites from those yolks. Just fold it in gently. Be a bit careful, guys. I've got a well-buttered gratin dish, which I'm just going to throw this into. That goes into a dish of fairly hot water. 180 degrees, 180 degrees about 30 minutes until it's lightly brown, risen, but it's still wobbly in the center. And then I'll show you why it's called a surprise pudding. All right, let's have a look at this. Oh, that looks look, looking rather good. Now I think off the top of my head, oh, let's think about it. I would mostly serve this with some whipped cream or if not whipped cream, some ice cream, some vanilla ice cream. Let's have a look and see if I've got my surprise here. See, what you get is you get a lovely sort of custard on the bottom. Mm. That is absolutely effing bloody wonderful. Oh, that's good. Good on your mum. No wonder you like the Women's Weekly recipes. That is a ripper. All right, guys, there is a bit of a surprise. When mum used to make it, I must admit she had sort of more liquid down the bottom, but that's because she's a better cook than me. That said, the wonderful passion fruit flavour through it is just brilliant. And it's one of those dishes, I hate to say it, you most of eat the whole freaking thing yourself, but <laughs> maybe invite your dearest friend over. All right, serve it with a really nice French Sauterne or dessert wine. And if I can make it, as a man who's a self-professed, not very fine pastry cook, you certainly can.